All right, so I'm definitely not the first person to talk about Fellhound being a five-second farmer, but I did mention that I wanted to go ahead and kind of do like a guide on how to build him as a five, quote-unquote, five-star second farmer. But um, actually, hold up, I messed up. I'm on, I'm on normal. I want to go to Brutal real quick. Let's go ahead and take him into Brutal, and uh, we'll see if he's still a five-second farmer here. Or brutal and yeah checks out five second farmer but real quick before i go into the build i was talking to sam solstice and she told me that she's been running like experiments and and stuff and she's convinced that raid is sexist what you just saw were three men in here but she told me that if you throw women in for campaign farming that they're gonna be one second slower for some odd reason and i wanted to go ahead and check that out and i did check it out and it seems to me that it checks out also it's a six second farm it's weird right why is it that men get <laughs> let's let's go ahead and throw some guys in here um of course this is just we're talking about food here let's throw some other guys in here uh let's see and uh you those are all dudes i'm assuming i don't want to assume their gender but you know just a little side meme discussion that she pointed out. Five second farm, right? So all credit. You know, I didn't come up with this idea either. This was all her. She came up with it. And um, here, let's bring some epics in here. Let's bring in these three girls here. And we'll see if it's also a five or a six star run. Let's see. If it's five. And there again, six stars. All women in here. It's kind of weird, right? It's kind of weird. Let's do one more. Let's do a, let's bring a bunch of guys in again. Here, we'll bring in these hefty dudes right here. Okay, we got one second in. Two. Oh, wait a minute. There, that's six seconds. Maybe it was, uh, maybe these guys are too heavy. Let's see. Let's bring in these guys and see. Okay, that's one, two. Oh, that's six also. Or is Venom Major Girl? I don't know. Nevertheless, it was an interesting thought. Maybe it only counts for like, I have to ask her and clarify with her. Maybe it only counts for commoners and below. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. That's six seconds also. Maybe these beast type pokemon don't count nevertheless um i wanted to go ahead and dive into fellhound teach you guys what i know about him he is marketed as a five star campaign farmer right most people go for a six seven um far, six, second, what am i saying a lot of people want to go for a six second farmer because of you know you just go through build food a lot faster than you normally would unless you get to the end game where you just have potions up the ass and you can do it like that a1 is an aoe that's all you care about this is all you care about right here try to get him booked out so you can get as much damage his damage is going to be based on defense and attack here's the other thing right he's got two other skills that we don't care about that we don't really need but his ai will use these moves here if it doesn't calculate, if Fellhound doesn't calculate that the food, or not the food, but the enemies that he's going up against can't be one-shotted, he's going to use different moves. But if you build him strong enough to the point where Fellhound's AI thinks that he can defeat the enemies in one shot, then he's going to just use his A1 the entire time without any presets, just like you see here. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, let's try this. I'm going to take some gear off of him and show you guys what I'm talking about. And if you're wondering what is the threshold for... Um, actually, let's make sure I don't take off... Any, let's just take off these bottom pieces. Let's remove the artifacts here. And if you're wondering what, what's the minimum threshold you need to be able to one-shot the waves, I don't exactly know. I think Chosen did a video on it, though. All right, so we removed all of this. Let's see if he... Okay, so he still thinks that he can do... Oh, except for that guy. He didn't kill him. He was too tanky for him, but he was still doing his one-shots. 
if I take it off even further, you're going to see that we dropped the stats and um, he doesn't believe he can one shot. Let's see, I want to. Uh, all of these have crit rate on them. Let's just take off the boots. There we go. All right, so he opens with his A1 here. A1 here too, but he didn't kill. And there he uses his other moves here. Come on. And I think you guys get the point. Build him strong enough so he doesn't do any of his other moves. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to be a six-second farm. Let me just throw these attack percent boots back on him. From perception, I think it was. Yeah, these. And then we'll throw uh, this back on. Crit damage amulet. And then this on. All right. So with that being said, let me show you guys his individual pieces of gear. We're focusing on attack and crit rate and crit damage. We do not need a lot of speed. You just need to go a little bit faster than the waves. And I think the fastest enemy in 12-3 Brutal is going at 113. So I think the minimum you can go is like 114. I think. You might have to check that. But because he is based off of attack and defense, you're going to want to build him with some attack and defense on top of it. So that's why you see some attack with some defense on it. A defense banner. Attack percent boots. Attack percent chest crit damage on the gloves because you want as much crit damage as you can crit damage on the amulet and there's that total stats are going to be um around 3k or almost 4k uh for attack and then around 3500 for defense 137 speed nice and slow and then 100 crit rate you want to make sure he's 100 crit rate and then as much crit damage as you can get you don't have to worry about attack or uh, you don't have to worry too much about hp because He's going to be one-shotting the waves. You're not expecting him to get hit. You could also put him in... If you if you just happen to have better gear, then go ahead and do that. But I would say only use the bare minimum needed to achieve what you need possible or what you need to do because you don't want to like just throw savage gear on him when you could use that on somebody like uh, Trunda, for an example, or anybody better that might have better applications. That's why he's in uh, Cruel, so we get those ignore mechanics in. But if you don't have Cruel, I've done this... And I've done Saurus also without uh, ignore defense gear. The requirements might be a little bit higher, though. Uh, again, I don't know what the, the parameters are, but it's something for you to test that and try. But again, your priority stats are going to be attack, defense, 100% crit rate, crit damage, and minimal on the speed. He is booked up completely. If you get a blessing for him, go ahead and take Phantom Touch so you can do extra damage based on uh, his attack. He's got no masteries on, but if you did get masteries, I would take this route here and I would go probably Whirlwind of Death or actually, you know what I would do? I'd probably take Crit Rate, Crit Damage, probably take this here, the Shield Breaker, come here to take the extra 8% for first hit on each enemy to help with the nukes. Then I would come down here, probably um, take our try to move our way down here however you want to do it, methodical for his A1, and then take Helm Smasher. Helm Smasher is the goal, but this is also good for our first nuke, for our first um, interactions through each wave. That's all you want to worry about. This one mainly, and this one mainly, and then this kind of helps. You could also take Bring It Down. Not necessary, but it's pretty nice, and you don't really care about redoing or decreasing the cooldown of a random skill because he only uses his A1. Again, don't blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and blindly copy those masteries.